circuit. And these are the circuit connections which is made through the PCB and the breadboard. This is the program of the project. And uh, when I run it, the output shows that it is in zero state. When I press the push button, it shows that the output is becomes one. And when I lift it, it shows a zero. Hello, this is the digital uh, analog circuit and these are the circuit connections and these are the programs written to that one. Uh, the moment I run the program, in the monitor you can see that the, uh, some numbers are showing. Whenever I rotate this uh, potentiometer, you can see the value oscillating between 0 and 1024 volts. The zero implies there is zero volt to pass through the Arduino board and uh, 1024 means full 5 volt passing through the Arduino board. Thank you. Hello. This is the LED and button circuit. And these are the coding written to the circuit. When I run the program, in monitor it displays that LED is off. When I press the push button, you can see the light is glowing. And uh, you can see that the uh, LED is on, displaying on the monitor. This is the project of LD, buzzer with the LDR and LED. These are the circuit connections. And uh, these are the programs written for the circuit connections. The moment I run the program, on the screen you can see that alarm is deactivated. When I block the light, stop now. The moment I block the light, you can see that buzzer is alarming and the light is glowing and in the screen you can see that alarm is activated. Hello, this is the circuit of LDR with LED and these are the circuit connections and these are the program for the circuit connections. The moment I run the program, here you can see the output screen as LED is off. When I block the light, the LED will glow. That means the circuit is complete and the current is passing through the LED. And here you can see that. Here you can see the status that the LED is on. This is the button and the buzzer melody. And these are the circuit connections. And uh, these are the programs for the circuit. Here you can see that uh, pitches H. These are the different note or the tones for uh, used for the circuit to hear the sound from the buzzer. The moment I press the button, you can hear the sound. If I change the numbers here, for example, if I change a 5 from 7 and uh, I press a loop, here you can make the difference than the sound will change. Hello, this is the ultrasonic sensor and these are the circuit. These are the programs for the circuit. The moment I run the program, here you can see that the distance between the sensor and the object is 24. Uh, the moment I bring my hand closer and closer, here you can see that the distance reduces to 9, 8 and 10 so on. The moment I uh, uh, move the hand far from the sensor, you can see that the distance is 33. Hello, this is the servo DC motor circuit and these are the circuit. These are the programs written for the circuit. And the moment I press down the uh, upload button, here you can see the small change in the small rotation, small rotation in the server. Hello, this is the start with the battery and server network extension. And these are the circuit connections. These are the circuit connection magic and this one. These are the programs written for the circuit. The moment I connect the battery to the servometer, here you can see that uh, the servometer is rotating by the angle uh, 180. Stop button.
Hello, this is the step by basic model with the FDA program. These are the codings for the program. These are the circuit connections made. Here you can see that the stepper motor, motor is rotating. The moment I change the delay time, the rotation speed can be controlled. This is the LCD display control circuit. And these are the coding written for the circuit. When I run the program in the LCD screen, you can see that Mert already know how to make a YouTube video. Subscribe for the more channel. This is the LCD display with the LED control. This is the program written for the circuit. The moment I run the program, uh, here the, you can see that the display is coming. I can control the light intensity by changing the potentiometer value. This is the DC motor control with the integrated circuit. These are the circuit connections. Here you can see that the programs written for the circuit. When I connect to the Positive and negative terminal to the battery. Here you can notice that the uh, DC motor is rotating. This is the ultrasonic sensor with the LCD display and a potentiometer to measure the distance. These are the circuit connections. And, uh, these are the programs written for the circuit. When I keep my hand near the ultrasonic sensor, you can see that distance is uh, reduced and the uh, moment I take my hand away from the sensor, the distance increases. By this we can measure the distance properly and we can also control the intensity of light by varying the potentiometer. These are the circuit connections, this is the Bluetooth module and uh, these are the programs written for the circuit and this is the app, this is the, <laughs> this is the app made for the servo motor to control. Uh, when I drag this slider, stop now. This is the app made to control the rotation of the servo motor. When I drag the slider, you can see that uh, the servo motor is rotating. I can give the, I can set the rotation by giving 45 degree, 90 degrees, 135 degree, and 180 degrees so on. When I rotate the potentiometer here, you can see that servo motor is rotating. I can control the rotation of the servo meter by just changing or rotating the potentiometer. Hello, this is the stepper motor. Stepper motor with the Bluetooth control. These are the circuit connections made. And these are the coding written for the program. This is the app we have specially developed for this uh, type of uh, circuit. When I uh, drag the slider, here you can notice that the stepper motor is rotating slowly. When I make some sound uh, in front of the sensor, here you can see that the light is coming. When I play the music, you can notice that the LED is glowing. When PUBG song is there. This is the uh, ultrasonic sensor with the LED and the buzzer. These are the program item for the circuit. 
when I run the program, in the screen you can see that the distance is showing. As I uh, move my hand near to the ultrasonic sensor, that is the distance less than 5 uh, centimeters. Here you can see that the buzzer is uh, sounding and the uh, light is blowing. When I, when I drag my hands here, you can see that the distance is increasing. When I come uh, place the near, buzzer will glow and the LED also glow. Hello, this is the stepper motor uh, control using a potentiometer. These are the circuit connections. These are the coding written from the program as you can see. When I click the serial monitor, here you can see the value of the potentiometer. I can vary the value of the potentiometer also by changing the, rotating the knob of the potentiometer. Here you can observe that the potentiometer, uh, the stepper motor is rotating slowly. Paper again. Hello, this is my 21st project and that is an automatic door lock system using the uh, LED indicators and the servo meter, servo motors. And these are the programs, uh, coding written for the program. Basically, this circuit works on the principle that if the user enters the password correctly, the door automatically will open. When I apply the power supply to the circuit, here you can see that the door is closed. If a user enters the correct password, the door gets open, the light gets changed, uh, its color from uh, orange to blue, the servo motor rotates. The, uh, when the user presses the unlock button or the any other button, here you can see that the door, in, door becomes closed. Here you can, you can also change the password here. If you wish, you can uh, type any of the password you wish. Thank you. This is the continued part of the fingerprint enrollment. In this video, you will see that the working of the fingerprint module. These are the programs written for the circuit. When I upload the program, Initially, the orange color is glowing. When you keep that finger, the light becomes changed to blue color and the buzzer will uh, sound. When you keep the wrong finger, the light does not uh, change. Thank you.